Hi friends, how are you? I hope everything's well. I am about to do a mulberry harvest. I actually spoke through this whole video, but it was so windy and there was a dog barking the whole time. I don't think you guys heard me clearly. I wanted to make this video about uh, harvesting <laughs> these mulberries because this tree has been so prolific. Uh, I've caught my daughters coming back into the house with the face full of purple stains, which happens to be mulberry stain. Um, as you guys can see, as I was walking towards the mulberry tree, there was actually Lily's little play shoes that she took off so she can climb the bench and get some of those delicious mulberries. They've been picking at it every single day after school, which is perfectly fine with me, but I was afraid I wasn't going to get any, so I decided to come out here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Now I want to tell you guys a little bit about this mulberry tree. For those of you who don't know me, I have a small urban lot, which means I don't have a lot of growing space. So what I decided to do is grow these mulberry trees in a large container. I recently transplanted this one and another mulberry tree that you can't see at the moment, but it's all the way to the right into these large about 65 gallon containers. I did them right before they started blooming and it was the perfect time because as soon as they started blooming, the fruit started coming. Another reason why I didn't want to grow this in the ground is because mulberry trees are known to have aggressive roots. And since I have a small lot, that just wasn't going to work for me. As you can see, the weeping mulberry is quite attractive and it adds a nice flair to my landscape. And since I am trying to make it look pretty, aesthetically appealing, and have an edible garden, this tree was the perfect addition to my garden. If you're considering getting a mulberry tree, but you don't have the space like I do, or you just don't like the shape or how large mulberries can grow, this might be the perfect tree for you. As you can see, it's very prolific in a very small space. And it's definitely beauty with a purpose. As far as care and maintenance for this tree is really little to none. All I do is give it a little fertilizer every couple months and water it. I also put some mulch to protect the root. If you're interested in seeing how I transplanted these mulberries into these large containers, I'll put a link right above and I'll put it at the end. All right, guys. Well, you guys saw how long it took me to get about one bowl full of mulberries. There's, I'm going to show you guys what the tree looks like after I harvest it. As you can tell, it looks like I didn't even pick any. Um, here's what I was talking about. Look at the floor. There's stains on there. I did know this was going to happen. I have been warned from some of you guys. But I think with a little bit of maybe a little bit of bleach, a little bit of alcohol, and uh, and um, compressor, water compressor, it will come right off. I won't do it till after the season. But I just wanted to show you a quick little harvest. I figure I better do it before my kids eat all the mulberries. I swear to you guys, they come in the house with a face full of mulberry spots on their face. I caught Lily. I asked her. I had no idea they were doing this. And we went for a drive and I looked at her face and I'm like, Lily, were you eating mulberries? And she smiles at me and she laughs like, uh, yes. Like she felt like she, she wasn't supposed to be doing that, but it's totally fine. That's one of the reasons why I have this garden because I want them to be able to come to the garden and take a little snack. I mean, how wonderful is that to go for a little stroll in your garden and get a little snack? Um, and just enjoy it with your sister hanging out in this bench. That's why I put the benches in my garden because I want them to just be able to enjoy their time here and um, have great memories and eat healthy. But anyways, guys, um, I hope my daughters come back out here tomorrow after school because I won't have time to um, to harvest the rest. And pretty much tomorrow, if it's warm, a lot of these are going to get ripened. And I don't want them to fall on the floor so it won't get that messy. Anyways, guys, as you guys know, like always, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. And I'm so excited to show this mulberry harvest with you guys. I know that 
I've been showing a lot about this tree, but this is one of my favorite trees. It's, as you can see, it's giving me a great harvest. This is actually after my kids devour most of the ripe um, mulberries on the tree, and um, that's still good enough for me. That's a good, a good um, breakfast with some oatmeal or just for a little afternoon snack. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.